hopping on for a late night, last minute extra reading here because I just felt like we needed this. And so I sat with my deck, pulled out this card. Here's what's up. So yes, this is for October 6th as well as the other one that's posted earlier today. Okay, so this is Six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. Here's why I think this is coming out and why I felt compelled to sit down and do this. We have 1010 this week. It is this week. And lots of things are going to start changing. Now, it's the pinnacle of this energy portal opening on 1010, October 10th. But the effects of this is going to be ever reaching. So just keep an eye on that. Keep that in mind. But this is showing that you're coming out of a storm. So some situation this week is going to be taking a turn. Now, I think for a lot of you, it might be around issues with career. But I only say career mostly because it's about abundance. It's about having enough. It's about our needs being covered. But think about this. We are kind of put out there to be worker bees. And we're expected to go off and pay for our own training by going to universities and then being in debt. And then you enter into a job. Maybe that job expects you to cover their expenses and get reimbursed. <laughs> I've experienced this. Or they expect you to be available 24-7, not really respecting that, you know, you have your own time. And you know, maybe offering you less than what you deserve, maybe all of these things, you know, this, this idea of if you want your basic human needs met by having shelter, food, clothing, and health care, then we have to put up with some measure, maybe of disrespect, maybe of disregard, but at a minimum, complete inconsideration <laughs> for what we bring to the table. Do you feel me? So that's the energy around this. So I think this might even be, it, it's going to be on the individual level, but this might even be kind of worldwide where it's like, hey, here are the working conditions that we're under, or here are the things that are just a complete injustice. So that's on the more immediate kind of forefront manner. Then there's going to be injustice in humanity. Now this gets into more serious stuff. This is about the genocides that have occurred and are still occurring. This would be, you know, potentially more upheaval in the in the Middle East uh, and other parts of the world. Australia, something's brewing for you guys down there. Um, this might very well be an actual storm, but I think it's more, it feels more like political belief systems, not religion, not like spiritual beliefs. This is about one culture against another culture. Okay, so it has that kind of feeling. So let me know. Um, I wish I have been to visit you guys and get to know <laughs> how life is there for all of you, um, but I haven't. So um, it's a little beyond my realm of understanding. So if you don't mind sharing your experiences and what life is like for you, I think that would help out the entire audience. So there are some other things going on here. This is more of like, um, <laughs> this might be a long video. <laughs> um, and I look a mess, y'all. I power washed my house today. This is just a side thing. I decorated for Halloween on the outside. Now I'm working on the inside and I still have things that I'm organizing. I'm a mess. That's why I'm doing it this way. So sorry. Okay, but listen, <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. Trust me. All right. So <laughs> this is going to be a lot of ideas that we've been sort of indoctrinated to believe. We're waking up from that and saying, whoa, this is really messed up. And I've given a couple of examples here, but if you had ever gone to someone and said, hey, isn't it a little weird that you're expected to work 16 hours a day, but you're only getting paid for eight of those hours? And <laughs> weirdly enough, you'd have people look at you and go, well, it's so I can keep my job. I don't mind keep you working the extra hours with no compensation as long as I get to have a job. Do you see what I'm saying? You'd be surprised. More people than not actually would respond that way. This goes into how we have relationships and friendships as well. This one's refreshing, okay? And I'm going to go back to the six of Michael here in just a second. This is refreshing because if you are somebody who's watching this and you spend a lot of time alone, and the reason why you spend a lot of time alone is you feel like you can't trust anybody because every time 
You try to have maybe a romantic partnership or a friendship. They betray you or there's just this shallowness to it. Maybe it's a lot of judgment. It's a lot of being disregarded, especially if you have, oh, if you have those people who peaked in high school and <laughs> and they're trying to still do their high school dynamics with you. Yeah. Um, the pettiness and again, like the, the narcissistic cold shoulder, uh, the narcissistic disregard or the gaslighting or just in any way trying to diminish you, especially if it's in front of other people. Those are the kinds of things that have been normalized. That has been normalized. And again, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people and they are just in these toxic either love partnerships or friendships. And they do not see it at all. (laughs) They don't see it at all. And they would say, no, she's my best friend. No, she's not. She can't stand you. She hates you. Oh, that's the love of my life. He's my soulmate. He does not like you. Now, some of you may laugh at that, but I mean it. A lot of these men who act like that, if they're straight, they don't like women, period. Or they're scared of women and they want to control them. These are the kinds of things that we are going to be contending with. And again, I stopped in the middle of doing all this, you know, organizing and decorating and all that because I just felt a pull. The message was flipping through my mind. I'm like, I got to I got to capture this. So uh, while I'm at it, I'll record the one for tomorrow as well, because we're in it. We're we're in the messaging. So (laughs) so we will do that. Um, The six of Michael, let's go back to that. If you look at this card, you see that there's a storm in the background. Now, we do have here in the United States, there's another hurricane coming. And it doesn't look good. Let me see. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, Everybody who was affected by the last hurricane, I love you. If you guys wondered where I was, um, answering emails, okay? Like, you know, people who could reach out, reaching out. Obviously, not everybody has access to do that. And please make sure you're praying for the people who are in the path of this next hurricane. Because keep in mind, a lot of the people who were affected... Roads have debris on them. Their cars were completely, you know, destroyed in floods. They don't really have where, anywhere to go. <laughs> so just make sure that you're praying for them and make sure, you know, you guys know that we're here for you. We're a good community here. And I love all of you who, if you want to see it as like an angel soul's family, I don't know if we want to see it that way, <laughs> how you feel about that. But um, we're here for you. Okay. So if you have access and you are able to, Let us know that you need some emotional support. Leave it in the comments. uh, And we'll see how this week is shaping up. I keep promising to go live. I'm trying. There's just not enough hours in the day to fit everything in. I'm sorry, but we'll we'll try to do that as well. But this, number one, I pulled this out because that storm is, you know, I felt the need to pull something out. And now there's a storm. So now we need to talk about that with the hurricane coming. So it can be quite literal. But as I was saying about all these various areas of our lives, like this is where we're moving out of troubled times. We're moving to higher ground. And it can be a little painful. It can be a little painful. I do want to take this opportunity to give an update on readings. I am offering a code. If you've listened to me talk and talk and talk throughout this whole video, then you've gotten to this point. There's a code to get 30% off of a standard reading, okay? And that code is PORTAL30, P-O-R-T-A-L 30, the number 30. You will get 30% off of a standard reading. All terms apply. I was offering previously 50, and then I went down to 40%. The people who got those deals, look at my community tab because that's where I post them first, okay? So make sure you're watching for that. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok, I'm everywhere, all right? So just keep that in mind. That's where I let people know about those deals. So if you're wondering how you are going to come through this, you need a little support, or you just want some clarity on something and you do want to work with me, you want to get an angelic session, an Akashic Record session, or a 1010 Energy Portal reading, which is angelic messaging too, just focused on 1010 portal, you can use that code to get 30% off of a standard reading at angelsouls444.com. When you go there, this has been a question for a lot of people. The offerings are in 30 minute increments. So if you want an hour, hour and a half, two hours, you just choose that many 30 minute readings. 
Yes. And then you go into the submission form. That's where you can let me know what kind of reading you're looking for. Okay. That's how that goes. And while I'm at it, I'm sorry. I'm it's just a lot to say here. Live readings. Yes, I am now booking those up. I'm booking them. I typically book those on Sunday if they're going to be offered the following week. Those do fill up fast when we have 1010. Now, provided the internet doesn't go out <laughs> or something happens, uh, God forbid, um, I will be able to take some live sessions on 1010, the actual date for a live session. Please keep in mind, payment is due when you schedule or you will lose your spot, okay? And whatever time you book, the reading ends promptly at that moment. Yes, so if it's 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes. I hope you understand. So if you want one of those, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. As I'm still working on my house, I will be checking my email to get those scheduled tonight. So if you care to, hop on. Because here's the deal. Um, a lot of shakeups. And they're even wanting me to go into a message around some of the... Now this might be mostly for the United States people. Sorry, guys. Hang with me one second here. But the election is coming up. How many of you are scared? How many of you are confused? How many of you are going, this whole thing is so messed up and I feel it. And it just, I know for me, I just don't want any part of it at all. Because I know, I know what it is. And I can tell you that there's such a jumbled energy around that whole thing. It kind of doesn't matter. I know you guys are going to fight me on this. But you got to think, you got to think. It doesn't really matter who wins. It really doesn't. And I know there are a lot of practitioners out there telling you the future will be like this. The future will be like that. Uh, the whole point here is to look at the system and understand why it's working against us or why it's messed up or what changes need to be made. I don't want to go too far in this message, but this is just another kind of method of control. So the method of control. And if you've had, I just had this discussion with someone where someone I, I am around was getting a little pushy about wanting to know who I was voting for and getting a little pushy that I and insisting that I vote exactly how they vote. And that's not how I roll. <laughs> I don't know if we just, <laughs> hi, if you're new here. Uh, my opinion is it's nobody's business who I'm voting for. Um, and I don't, I don't need to be bullied into voting for the way somebody wants me to vote. You see what I'm saying? So, and no, it's probably not who you think it is. <laughs> so like, it, yeah, cause I don't know, that gets into a sticky conversation. But the point is, is that there's energy around that too. So there are going to be a lot of shakeups going on here. This is, think about this. We got an election here in the United States, not long after the 1010 energy portal, like a few weeks later. What do you think that's going to do? Like something needs to change with the system. Now, I don't know exactly what that looks like. I mean, maybe that would be, a, I'm not tuning into it that deeply, but um, the whole idea, the energy overlay, the spell. I'm actually getting the image in Wizard of Oz, if you've ever seen that movie, where Dorothy and I think it's the Tin Man and, you know, the whole crowd there, they're in that field and the snow is falling on them. And then they wake up, they go into a deep sleep, and then they wake up and, you know, they're back in Oz or whatever. Um, that's kind of like that. Now, some of you might have felt a little bit of an energetic glitch, for lack of a better way of putting it, where I have one of these today and I was like, oof, I better sit down and get some food and water in me because I think I'm delusional. There was a moment where something kind of flashed through my mind that... I don't know how to explain it. I'm in the dream. I'm in the dream. And this isn't real. And none of this is really actually a problem. And I'm not talking just about the election. I'm talking about life itself. It was a weird, uh, like I keep calling it a glitch. Like it was just a moment of absolute clarity. And then something, it kind of switched off. And I, it was almost like deja vu except with absolute clarity and not necessarily a repeat feeling or even a feeling of familiarity. It was a very strange moment. I think that has a lot to do with what's cracking open for us right now 
and really what's coming up to the surface and being exposed. So that's yet another chunky level of <laughs> what's going on here. Oh my gosh, so many things are going to be unearthed. So many things are coming out and we're already seeing it. We started seeing that this energy has effects before and after and it's going to hit another wave on 11.11. So it's a big discussion and there's just a lot going on here. But you personally, you watching this, you have to make a choice here. Some of that might have to do with, well, obviously perspective, but what you tolerate with people. For some of you, it's moving away from a group of people and having to be on your own. And maybe you're not used to that. And again, we get this whole conditioning thing like, oh, we need to be together. You know, we, you know, pe- humans were not meant to be alone. Well, we certainly can survive on our own. If humanity has fallen apart and being cruel or even downright evil. So you may be walking away from a situation. You might, I cannot wait to see how many people quit their jobs this week. Or how many people reach out and say, hey, Michelle, remember, remember that partnership I was in? Well, I finally ended it. <laughs> you know, or that toxic friendship. I finally got away from that person. And I'm going to be happy for you. Absolutely. I'm excited for you. Some of you might be taking a different direction on your path. And that can make you feel a little jumbled, a little insecure. But the point is, at the end of the day, you're moving out of the storm. Okay. So again, if you want something more specific to you, if you care to get a reading with me, angelsouls444.com use portal 30 for 30% off of the standard reading or if you want a live session the code does not apply to the live session if you want a live session email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com let me know how you're doing in the comments this is the time to get those conversations going share as you are comfortable i love you guys stay safe out there and take care bye-bye